Hi, it's Milan with Tuning Into The One. And today, it's about fulfilling your wishes. It's about finding your Aladdin's lamp, rubbing, having your genie come out, and having your wishes granted and fulfilled. How do you do that? Well, we're going to talk about wishes, setting intentions, and putting your willpower into a real world tool that you can use each and every day. So think about your greatest heart's desire, your wishes. What are they really? Your wishes are imagined desires that have simply not come true yet for some reason or another. Either you don't think you can do it by yourself or you don't think you can make it happen. So your imagination starts the process, but then your belief systems, your identities about yourself and others, your expectations and the values that you're setting for yourself are going to impact that. So remember, go watch the video on dialing up your vibe, your values, your identities, your beliefs and your expectations. In the meantime, take that imagination and think about your wishes and what they are and what it is you want fulfilled. Then lean into those wishes and ask yourself, what can I do that's going to take it from the wish list and the bucket list down to a place where I can actually start seeing real world results. The next step after identifying your wishes is to set intentions. Intentions are stronger than a wish because you can set your mind power to work and into motion by focusing your thoughts so you can set the mindset on having that intention to do or to be or to have or to make happen in your world that wish or that desire. So start with the wish, the unfulfilled imagined desire, then take it to the next level by setting an intention to make it happen for you. The time is now and this is what I want. The time is now and this is what I want. The time is now and this is what I want. Your intention helps to directionalize and focus that wish from, gee, wouldn't it be nice to, I want this, I have a driving fire of desire and I'm gonna set my intention to make it happen. You can do it any number of ways. The important thing is to remember that you're starting to harness the power of your energy, your mind energy, your heart space energy, and then your physical energy. And then the third piece is to put willpower to work for you. Now, most people may not realize this, but you use your conscious willpower every day. When you stretch in the morning and you wake up, you go from unconscious, wherever we happen to be, to a conscious application of our willpower. Your ability to sit up, your ability to stand up, your ability to walk, your ability to brush your teeth, that's the application of your willpower. You have the ability to go from a completely motionless place to moving your hand up. The only way you can do that is by applying your willpower. And the only difference between that and setting your wishes to intentions to applying it with your willpower is the idea and the belief and the significant urgency of the time is now, this is what I want. So wishes are great, you're kicking the tires on a wish list. Then you take it to the next level and you say, this is what I want and the time is now. You set that intention. Now you're sending a message from the inside out to the universe that says, I want this and I want this now. When you're setting your intention, it's stronger than your wish because you're using your mind power and your heart's desire and you're creating motion. Emotions are energy in motion. And in addition to that, physical willpower exercise is your actionable steps that you're going to take towards that. So do your soulmate attraction blueprint, do your soulmate manifesto, dial up your vibe and get into action because your willpower is motivating that desire or intention or wish and taking it to a place of greater intensity, a level of driving desire, a place where you can apply your effort, where you can apply mind and physical energy to bring that desire to fruition and fulfillment from the metaphysical down to the physical, the plane that you happen to be occupying while in the body temple that you're currently inhabiting. So do it and then you drive it forward with desire, with continuous, concentrated, consistent 
application of having intentions set each and every day of making sure that the application of that intention is followed through with action steps until that desire or wish is manifested in your world right here right now I know this is possible because I've done it for myself and I've helped my clients do it for themselves. So what you want to do is align your wishes with the intentions you set and then allow that willpower to create miracles, real physical manifested miracles in your world. You do that by aligning your wishes, your intentions and your willpower and you bring it home by aligning your values, your identities, your beliefs, and your expectations. Opening up your heart's desire from the inside out through the process of wishes and intentions and bringing it home through your beliefs and your expectations and your action steps. That intense desire from the top down, from the inside out, to turn your vibe and intensify that intention even more each and every day to move you towards finding, attracting, and living in true lasting love. When you align your wishes your intentions and your willpower you create miracles when you align your values your identities your beliefs and your expectations you create miracles you harness the power of your will to design and execute daily action steps from the bottom up to execute with energy with passion with effort with concentrated consistent continuous energy action steps to create miracles in your life <sighs> And as always, click the link on this video or right below it to join us in our private Facebook group so you can get all of your pressing questions answered one-on-one -on -one in a private, safe environment. Mm, this is Milan wishing you amazing dating success and relationship mastery. Until the next time, bye for now.